Hello and welcome to PCI TV. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at Sentinel-1. Sentinel-1A, as seen here, is a synthetic aperture radar instrument that was launched by the European Space Agency in April of 2014. The mission was declared operational in September of 2014 and imagery is freely available for download through the European Space Agency's website. So in this video, what we're going to focus on is how to access Sentinel-1 imagery completely freely thanks to the open data policy that's been implemented by the European Space Agency. Then we're going to work with some imagery inside PCI's Geomatica software tool. So let's get started. For first time users, we need to register. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll register an account. So we'll provide some information here. All right, so once we've filled out this form, we'll just go ahead and click register. Once the registration form has been filled out, we get this notification message and we have to go check our email. Once we've created our account and validated with the European Space Agency, we can go ahead and use our login. Go under search. This will bring up a map. We'll zoom into an area that I'm familiar with. We draw a search area. And we can click search to see what comes up or we can do a little bit more of an advanced search. So here we can specify GRD, which is the current supported data format for Sentinel-1 within PCI's Geomatica software. For sensor mode, we can choose strip map, interferometric wide or extra wide swath. I'm going to select strip map and I'll just go ahead and hit search. Okay, so we have our search results here and uh, as you can see there's multiple images available. I can click on the product information icon here to get more details. Now Sentinel-1 is a dual polarized satellite so acquisitions can be made in uh, HH, VV, HHHV, VV and so on. So there's different configurations possible. Here the two channels are going to be HH and HV and if I go back to search and I choose the next one you'll see that this one is actually in VV and VH so this is important if you want to do a change detection application. We want to make sure that we get the same polarization so that we're comparing apples to apples. So I can limit the search to specific polarization that I want to include. So in this case, I'll try to only find images that fall over this area of interest that have HH as one of the two channels and we'll see what comes up. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a shorter list of products now. We've only got four images that sorry, three images that meet this criteria. So if we uh, click on this one in particular, this one's HHHV, it was collected on April 13th, April 12th rather. This one is March 7th, HHHV as well. And the third one is also HHHV. All three are in ascending mode. So these are nice, uh, three nice data sets that we could download. Now if we want to download these, we can just simply click the Save button. Very simple to do. What it's going to do is it's going to initiate a HTTP pull from the uh, servers at ESA. Now I believe the maximum number of co concurrent downloads is two. So I'm going to go ahead and start that download. It's quite quick. The download is very quick depending on your connection obviously. So it should only take a few minutes to download this, uh, these two data sets here. Okay, so both our images are here on the desktop. We'll just extract them here locally. And viewing the data in focus is quite easy. So I'll just open up uh, one of the images here, drag and drop right onto focus. I can select the calibration that I want to have. Same thing with the second image, drag and drop. And just like that, we have our imagery downloaded and available within a few few minutes here. 